Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here with... Oh my gosh, Britt. Your video came in loud. Y'all, Britt, Radiant Britt. <laughs> go subscribe to her. Link is down in the description. Here we go. All of the Gypsy Rose Blanchard updates. I've got updates on Gypsy. I've got some updates on Ryan. We're going to talk about Ken, Christy. The entire circus is here in town. So we have a lot to talk about. If you're interested, please keep watching. Hey, right, you guys. So the heat index is about 110 degrees outside. I am so hot. But I wanted to sit down and talk to you all about this because... I saw an update from Conspiracy, and of course I will include the video for context, but she had an update and it was regarding Ryan Anderson not showing up for divorce court, a divorce hearing with his soon-to-be uh, ex-wife Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Enough the Beauty Influencer posted a video yesterday about how Gypsy and Ryan had divorce court and Ryan did not show up or have representation, i.e. a lawyer, at this hearing. Nina also shared Damn. this screenshot from what I believe is court records of this hearing, talking about how Ryan was not there. And it also says that evidence began with the testimony of Gypsy, her stepmother, Christy, everything else. Nina posted an update video today saying that Ellie, a source who is very close to Gypsy and her family says, that Gypsy's lawyer allegedly sent a letter to Ryan's lawyer saying that Ryan did not need to be present or have representation present at that hearing. Nina does have a source Whoa. close to the family, so I'm likely to believe that this is true. How crazy and how dirty would that be to tell Ryan that he doesn't need to be at that hearing? We do know from one of Glad you found us. Thanks for the like. Join the family, y'all. Brian's previous live streams that he did go back to work, so he is still teaching now, and school started back up, so he was working that day. Maybe he will get on live and tell us what happened. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think. So Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ryan Anderson's divorce. I'm not really sure how to feel about this. I feel like it's a lot of hearsay. It's a lot of somebody said something to someone else that told someone else that told someone else. It's kind of like a game of telephone. I have a hard time believing that any attorney in their right mind would tell Ryan Anderson, you don't need to come to this hearing. You're good. No need to show your face. No need to be there in person. Yeah, that's crazy as hell. It is okay if you don't show. I have a lot of concerns and questions when it comes to that. I'm not saying that couldn't happen because anything can happen, but I'm not really sure if that makes sense, logically speaking. I'll include the clip for context from Conspiracy, but if this is actually what happened, things are not really all funny good foot for Ryan and this upcoming divorce. But I still have a lot of questions. I'll drop the clip. Tell me how you feel about this down below. All right, so next we need to talk about this photo that Gypsy Rose posted on her social, wearing a wifey shirt, holding a mango in the grocery store. It is cringe level a million. Oh my God, she's at cringe level. A million. Number one, you're not a wifey. You were a wifey and you threw your marriage in the trash bin. Oh, shit. Damn. Yo, this is Radiant Brit on, uh, on YouTube. And you were unfaithful to somebody that actually, for whatever reason, took a chance on you. So you're not a wifey. You are a... I'm not going to say it. I'm going to hold my tongue. I'm going to be nice in this video. But oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm sure you know what I'm thinking. Number one, if Gypsy is actually pregnant, which there's a lot of questions, I'll get into a little bit more as to why I'm kind of like 75, 25 with the whole pregnancy thing. I'll get into that later in the video. But why are we... Oh my. Why are we doing this? And my mama grew him. 
number one, um, why are you wearing the wifey shirt? And number two, why does your head look like it was photoshopped onto somebody else's body? <laughs> it looks weird. It's giving it look people weird. material. You got a little bit of that giraffe neck going on. She was like this. Oh, God, that hurt. Well, to call into and I'm getting old. Question and the fact that Gypsy is a pathological liar. No wonder people have a lot of issues with this photo specifically. Now, Gypsy's weird friend Brie did a TikTok and was Gypsy's weird friend Brie basically ranting and raving about how nobody can allow Gypsy to enjoy her pregnancy and everybody is just so upset with her and boo 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 like. I have zero sympathy for Gypsy Rose. I have no sympathy left in my body left for this little grifting con artist, lying, wannabe social media influencer, cheating mother. Oh my God. Brit. Oh my word. How much more can I fit into that description? I would like to make try. Let's see how much more you could do. Should we hear it again? Let's hear it again. Left for this little grifting con artist lying wannabe social media influencer cheating mother. How much more can they called her a wannabe social media influencer. <laughs> Didn't even hit her with the just social media influencer. Just straight up wannabe social media influencer. Insane. I fit into that des Insane. description. I would like to make it clear. I don't wish ill will on her. But as far as being in her corner or showing sympathy because people are having their opinions about her purposefully getting pregnant to, in my opinion, trap Ken. People are allowed to have their opinions. I don't feel bad for the negativity that Gypsy has produced all of this on her own. You reap what you sow, right? Mm -hmm. I'll never understand how a mother can try to bring down another mother. It's actually gross. Let me show you something. You see that right there? You see at the top it says from Gypsy? Yeah, this is Gypsy's app. And in Gypsy's app, it says that at 15 weeks, her baby's the size of a fing go. So guess what Gypsy did? <laughs> she went to the grocery store, grabbed the fing go, and. <laughs> oh no, trucking. Oh, YouTube and, and TikTok. It's trucking. Oh no. Took a picture with it. But here y'all come having to try to pick up on her pregnancy just like y'all do her damn abuse. The girl can't even enjoy her damn pregnancy. Get a life. And now, let's look at the next one. This is um May 27th. That's Gypsy. May 27th. Oops. May 27th at 1.48 p.m. And she's pregnant. So who's the fault? Who's the daddy? Kim's the daddy. So, uh, was that enough proof for y'all to shut the f Buh, fudge? Buh, 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 buh. I keep, I keep thinking of um, this like, poor girl can't baby. even enjoy her pregnancy, y'all. Like literally, like people gotta like this person's the daddy, this person's the daddy, this like. Uh, is this enough to prove to y'all my computer's disgusting, y'all? I know. I'm sorry. It just, I don't know what happens. It just gets dirty. So, who is this person? Oh. So, Oh my God, I could just see Nina right now. She's going to be making a video. I also saw a clip of Christy on one of Gypsy's recent lives. And she said that she has a job as a car detailer. You can answer. Okay. You what? I do have a job. I detail cars. And it's a hard job. Now listen. I'm never one to throw shade at what somebody does to collect their money, collect a paycheck, build their net worth, whatever they're doing. But this I found really interesting because 
from my seat and what I have seen unfold, I have seen Christy fully cashing in on Gypsy Rose being this D-list celebrity and also keeping very busy by interfering in her marriage and talking to Ken and fangirling over Ken. Maybe if her car detailing business was doing what she hoped it would have been doing, then maybe she would have been too preoccupied to wreck Gypsy and Ryan's marriage. But then again, I think she has a thing for Ken, so that's kind of wishful thinking. Now, Gypsy's new boy toy, Ken, as he has done before, he is going around to any creator, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, that is talking about he and Gypsy. He is going around and making sure that he inserts himself into said content. He decided to jump into a live stream with a YouTube creator named Sir Morbid, and he wanted to clear up some conspiracies. Dear Kitty, thank you. Claim that he has a job and he also never downloaded Grinder, and he can prove that from his iTunes download history. iTunes, Brit. iTunes got discontinued about thirteen years ago. Remember the iPod Shuffle? That was about the last one that came with iTunes. <laughs> she meant iCloud, y'all. But Brit, I got you. Don't even worry. I got you. I know what you meant. I knew what you meant. I'll do a little addendum right there. I'll make sure the people know what you meant. Are you employed right now, or what's? I am. I am employed. Uh, it's, it's funny misinformation. I mean, everything, almost everything about me on the internet is lies and misinformation for the most part. But I am employed. However, obviously, because I work in the service industry as a bartender in the public domain, I I don't want to release where I work. Yeah. I don't wanna... He says I work in the public domain. <laughs> I'm not a government bartender. I work in the public domain. I'm a bartender at one of those public places. Hell no. uh, well, that's no. okay. I mean, people were speculating that, that you were. I think that eventually, though, it will come out where I work. Somebody's going to recognize me at some point. Well, I'm um, sure. They are. Probably. But yeah. it's it probably Applebee's. Right now, that has not been uh, put out there. So. That's what they said. Applebee's on a date now. So, but yes, is I it, do work. Is it the grind? Grinder account is lies. One hundred percent fake. Yeah, I've never even downloaded Grinder, and I can prove that. Like, if you were to look at my like, how do you prove Apple that? purchase history? Well, if you go into your, uh, and I only found this out by a comment that someone posted, where like, Gypsy, go look at his Apple purchase history, and if you like look at my iCloud account, which I've had since two thousand and eight, you could see that I've never even once downloaded the app since I've. Yeah. When did you hook up with uh, Gypsy? Because it looks like it was February. <laughs> this happened so uh, we had a like, be I'm honest just, man don't no, lie okay, I'm, I'm being 100 percent honest the very first time i ever had a physical reconnection with gypsy was a week after she separated from her husband it was april 1st you say a physical reconnection <laughs> dude what is that dude the, the the last time i had a physical reconnection and you're gonna try and tell me you don't have that app <laughs> come on dude the last time I had a physical reconnection. That's a, the weirdest way I've ever heard of anybody say that. It was the weekend that I came down for the very first time and saw her in person. So not five Jazz years ago. Fest. It was not Nikki, thank you. Jazz, Jazz Fest, Fest was, was a month later. Jazz, was in month later. Ooh, Jazz Fest is fun as hell, y'all. That's in New Orleans. Oh, uh, wow. End of That's April, May. When you went on the yeah, no, 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 no. End of end of right March, early April surgery. was the first. Yes, that was the the the, the time that I did the, the live with Natasha. Vicky, you're so sweet. Thank you for all those dinosaurs. So, yes. End of April. Where wait, 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 dude. Wait, so, end of March, early April. My bad. End of March. April four. Yeah, that is Ken talking. Ken, so come on, Ken. Come on, Ken. Wait, Ken. Hey, Ken. No, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm Ken, I just want. I mean, no, no, dude, I'm you not saying you're a liar. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm saying, hey, Ken. Hey guys, let's. God, that's a horrible podcast. Y'all, one mic at a time. So, uh, calm yeah. down, calm down. One at a time. I'm, I'm not, I'm... Well, at least the host knows that. Respect the platform. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to say, like, yes, did I have a, a, a conversation with her late February and then, and then on a few times? I did. But it wasn't in the sense of, like, a relationship-wise. It was just like a, a... Did the other guy know? Did the husband know? Did the husband know that you were having conversations? 
a talking, hey, how are you doing? How you been? Like kind a, of thing. Like a theme and the type first time we ever, there's all this like rumor and speculation that I was. Coming. Or would she run away being like, <laughs> I'm going to visit her in January, February, which is just completely untrue. I mean, she was living with Ryan in Lake Charles three you, hours. You were away talking from, to her in February. Or late March. February, we had we had a we, we had our initial conversation. Yes. Like, it was just like a, hey, how you been, like, kind of conversation. It was a FaceTime, wasn't it? Because they showed... They showed it was a FaceTime. Uh, Lolly, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. No, 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 no. The, the FaceTime clip that was in the show... Okay, so let me also say this. That first weekend that I came to visit Gypsy, which is the weekend that we got the tattoos, the weekend mm-hmm. that we went to New Orleans, none of that was filmed with Lifetime. That was just us hanging out as people and... and when the did you get the tattoos? Lolly, thank you. Stella, thank you. Jen, one month. Huh? When did you guys go and decide to get got, the tattoo? I'll, I'll tell you the exact day. It was April 1st was the day that we got the tattoo. Okay. April Fool's Day? Oh, hell no. The first day April we had to hang out. Day. Wait, April that's Fool's the time the you day. said. Dude, you just said that was the first time you talked to her. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. I said no, late February was the first time came. we talked. But the first time we physically reconnected in person was that weekend of April 1st. That's right. what I said. So yeah, y'all, he said the first time he came out. Know. Okay. Right. I drove from Dallas to uh, to cut off to see her. The, 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 so the first time I came to visit her was the weekend of April 1st. I was there for about three or four days. I went back. And then the second time I came back to see her, that was when Lifetime filmed us together. That was the weekend of Jazz Fest, which is also like May 1st. But Ken, can April you understand weekend. the first time y'all hook up and meet? Okay. You're getting tattoos? Yeah, no, it's, it's bizarre for sure. But <laughs> Number one. He really must think that people are as dumb as Gypsy Rose is. <laughs> oh, no. He said, did y'all hear that? He said, he said, I know it's weird. For sure. <laughs> Most of us have a little bit more intelligence, a little bit more being able to read between the lines. Some testicular fortitude. And figure out that... Just because you're saying it doesn't mean that it's true. If he actually was still working as a bartender, do you not think that by this time, somebody would not have outed the bar that he's working at? We're not talking about them living in the middle of nowhere and nobody knows where it is and it's some kind of small town. We're literally talking about Louisiana. In my opinion, if he was actually working... Whoa. Heather, Heather, he's going cheese, right? Holy hell. Some lousy Anna. Me, yeah, Shad. Somebody would have said what bar he works at. In my opinion, I think that he is riding high on Gypsy Rose being um, this infamous whatever she is online. And that's just what it is. But he also doesn't want to say that Ryan Anderson was right. And that he doesn't have a job because then we would be able to say, oh, okay, like you should have a job. You're literally about to be a parent, allegedly. And he doesn't want to allow that to happen. So as far as my trust in Ken, it's the same with Gypsy. I don't trust either one of them. Both of them could say the sky is blue. And- <laughs> Brit said... I don't trust either one of them to make hamburger helper, much less anything else. These people are saying. <laughs> and I'm going to look outside to see if the sky is blue. But hey, that's just me. And mm. The same thing extends to him saying that he's never downloaded Grinder. I just don't believe you. And I've said before, and I would like to reiterate, I've never really been one that is super interested in is he bi, is he not bi, I really don't care, but why not just own it? Like, it, this this could have been buried and forgotten a long time ago, but the fact that you're lying about it, allegedly, and you're continuing to go with this instead of just owning it, like, just own it and people will forget about it. A lot of the internet has a very short-term memory, and I've talked about this for years on my channel. I try to be, you know, kind of an outsider and not 
have a short-term memory when it comes to people lying, grifting, stealing, being entitled, being toxic, problematic, exploiting their kids, exploiting their family. I try to not be that way, but a lot of the internet is. So just own it. <laughs> the white rabbit. <laughs> what the? F you what? Oh my god. Y'all are going off the chain in uh in the TikTok chat right now. Dear lord, hit that follow button. Tap the screen like crazy. YouTube, hit me with the thumbs up. Let's keep going. To move on. And a lot of people would have forgotten about it by now. Now, it should come as no surprise to anybody watching this video that Kendall Rich is 100% on Gypsy Rose's side. She is one, Who's that one? one of those who is just so sympathetic, so just, oh my God, you would have done this. All these names, y'all, I have no idea who any of these people are. Same thing. Oh my God, she went through so much. She's one of these people and she decided to make a video about it. I'll insert it for context, but it really doesn't deserve what was it? that much time or attention because it is predictable. She is somebody who literally, like, you can take the worst people to exist and Kendall Rich is going to say, oh, well, I'm actually on their side because I have no morals and I'm going to tell everybody that I have no morals over and over and over again. I have a discussion about Gypsy Rose and I finally, finally learned all about her. I know I'm so late to the train there um, and I've been seeing people kind of like on both sides um, and then the, those who the heck is this? Pictures came out and they're like, oh. Vicky, thank you for that. Oh my gosh, no gypsy's horrible for like doing that to her mother. And if you know me, I'm going to look at, I'm going to get the facts, see both sides before I make an opinion, regardless of what the internet says. So I did. I watched the um, documentary. After watching the documentary and then I saw all the murder photos, but and everybody's freaking out like what were you guys expecting it to look like anyways it's a murder scene like she didn't die peacefully in her sleep so like i assumed it was going to be bad my opinion is i can't believe she waited that long to do what <laughs> i think anybody probably would have done in that situation so i am oh my god that's a horrible thing to say i'm surprised she waited that long who would say that man you are crazy as hell for saying that holy hell and then she said i'm pretty sure anybody would have done that we all would have done that uh you what <laughs> nah i'm good i'm 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 not ever going to uh you know take someone else's life <laughs> jesus okay let's keep going that's crazy as hell 100 percent on who is this person y'all is this like a big person like somebody that's known gypsy side the torture and the abuse that that poor girl went through come on man. that wasn't real didn't they say it wasn't real allegedly somebody came out saying like it wasn't even real like she said it she's like no nah, it didn't actually happen we just did it for trips and money and houses and stuff I come in i don't blame gypsy Annie, at least what do you think unhinged bananas crazy yep yep cardi b that's suspicious that's weird. Yep. Yep. I agree. Oh, he needs some milk. He does need some milk. Well, I know she didn't actually do it, but whatever. Her boyfriend, her boyfriend's psycho or, or ex-boyfriend or whatever. He, he's a little psycho, but um, I, don't, I don't blame Gypsy. Like, I can't believe it took that long. And I I don't feel bad for her mom. Um, I know it was gruesome, but that's murder is gruesome. There's no, like, pretty, pretty version. <laughs> feel bad for somebody that was mm -hmm. of it um but abuse is gruesome too and i honestly what the hell that gypsy went through is far worse than the sh short-term hell that well actually her what the hell the okay she's trolling y'all that's she's trolling there's no way anybody can say well the hell that this person went through uh is worse than the lady that was her life was ended this she's trolling she does it for views and likes and stuff she wants people to come on there and comment and be like you're outrageous and then to end up in videos like this lady's video that's not real there's no way anybody would say that and mean it Mama's in long come on that's crazy from hell right now i support gypsy um her mama had it coming two more things i her mom had it coming. Oh my! What's that called? The contrarian? The per people that are always like, 
the majority of people feel a certain way, so they're like, well, I'm just gonna feel the opposite. I wanna touch on, the first is that Gypsy did her birthday vlog. And while there are a few things that are kind of interesting about the vlog, just, you know, whatever, I'm not really worried about these little minuscule things. What I would like to focus on is the fact that the video clip that she shows from her birthday Mm -hmm. Wit wants to JP cry. Her outfit of the night, outfit of the day, whatever. She shows she's wearing a white tank top, jeans, and some custom shoes that some person that has no morals sent to her as a gift. <laughs> there is literally no baby bump in that video or in those photos. Just a short period of time later, she is on a TikTok live and she says she feels like she's getting fat, but she goes ahead and shows her baby bump. Whoa. Dawn, thank you. Birthday attire, simple jeans, white tank top, and these custom made sneakers by Brush by Soph. Adorable. All right, stay tuned for more. I feel like I'm getting really fat, guys. I don't like it. <laughs> what the hell? All right, now how do I make that? Is crazy though. Let's stand up again. Okay, tighten that up. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting there. It's not huge, but it's also not flat either. <laughs> oh, happy birthday! So, I feel like a baby bump reveal. I feel fat, guys. <laughs> my uh, my body image right now is uh, not that great. Because, I mean, my jeans don't fit anymore. I just, I feel fat. I look in the mirror and I'm like, this. That's what I feel like when I door dash Taco Bell. Exactly 17 minutes after I eat it, I'm like, oh, got me again. Got me again with this bullshit. This is there. It's there. <laughs> Y'all have to correct me if I'm wrong down below, as always. To me. Y'all, don't tell my mom I ate Taco Bell, though. She cries every time. My mom sees I ate Taco Bell. She's like, no! Because my mom's like all about like grow your own food, everything organic. She's like, it's it's yoga mats. The food is yoga mats. And I'm like, I'm sorry, mom. And she's like, no, why would you do this? It's crazy. Number one, the amount of elapsed time doesn't make sense. Number two, her showing this baby bump. It's not giving me what I would expect to see visually from somebody who is trying to show me a baby bump. Now, of course, I am always happy to be wrong. I am glad to hear other opinions, educate me, sound off down below. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And when we're talking about somebody like Gypsy, who has a history of using pregnancy and wanting to have babies as a way to grift, get attention, get pity, collect sympathy, be the center of attention, keep a man in her life. Damn, she dropped in the keep a man. For me. Stella, thank you. JLo, thanks for the follow. I have a lot of concerns, and that's where I'll leave it for now. So watch those two little clips and tell me how you kind of take in that content down below. Mm. Dawn, so sweet. The last thing I want to put in this video is that Gypsy was in the comments of a creator. Her username is Princess A M Y R K H A. This creator was really going in on Nina, the beauty influencer, having some really just out of pocket. Who's Nina? Comments. Yo, I have no idea what the hell is happening. I'm so lost. Anybody lo as lost as me? Thumbs up in the chat if you're as lost as me. And 
things that were being sent Nina's way. And I've always said, I don't care. Like if, if you don't like somebody, that is your right. But if you have to resort to bullying them and demeaning them to get your point across, then I'm going to tune out. Before I tuned out, though, I did see that Gypsy Rose was in the comments. Oh, you guys follow Nina. Okay, maybe I do need to find out who it is. ...of this creator saying, bunch of clapping emojis, girl, preach, LOL. Kept trying to figure out who this Nina beauty influencer person was. I was so fucking confused. But Trucking. then... Gosh, dang it. Trucking. I looked her up, right? I just tapped on the app right and this is what i found this is the woman who took me to the cleaners I'll just be thinking later, like, oh, but all i see on this page is an absence of a job an obsession with gypsy rose and eyebrow blindness <laughs> eyebrow blindness the only thing that looks like it needs to be cleaned is this lady's makeup brushes so i don't understand how and which way she took me to the cleaners look guys this woman has a whole series on exposing Gyp Gypsy Rose. The girl already went to prison. She already went to prison. Maybe I don't care. Have you ever considered that? Have you ever considered getting a job? Because I have one. I got two, actually. Have you ever considered going back to school and reading a book? Because I'm also doing that. I got a degree and I'm working on another one. What are you doing? This TikTok shit is fun. It's just crazy as hell. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fun for me. It feels like this is your life. And that's sad. It's 2024. If you don't find... If you're not making some kind of income from the internet... You're like the people back in the 80s that were like, oh, the internet. <laughs> no one's ever going to use the internet. I'm going to put all my money and investments into paper media, like magazines and newspapers. <laughs> Information sent to a telephone that you can view. Bruh. <laughs> Man, that sound, to me, that sounds like jealousy. That sounds like, oh, she's got 203,000 followers, and I don't. Get a hobby. Damn, she said get a hobby, too. Speaking of which, we have 247,459 followers <laughs> on the Tic Tac machine. Thank you for that, y'all. Tic Tac, hit the follow button if you're new here. My name's Patrick. If you like this kind of content, we do a little true crime. This isn't, I mean, it's Gypsy Rose, so I guess it falls under the true crime umbrella. But we were talking pretty heavily about Micah Francis for like the last two months. Um, and so, you know, when new things come out in that case, we'll talk about it. In other cases that come up, uh, we'll obviously talk about it. But right now, I got sent a ton of these videos. And I said, you know what? Let's check it out. And this one's almost over, y'all, so keep going. So what I would like to say about this is... Gypsy Rose, you are on your platforms telling people that you are preparing for motherhood. And you want to make sure that you are in a peaceful, serene environment, drama-free, no stress, no worries. You are nesting and drinking orange juice and doing photo shoots with mangoes inside of the grocery store mm -hmm. and wearing shirts that say wifey and making sure that you are still getting those clicks and still remaining relevant. This is gonna be um, early, well, it was mid-March um, when I left Ryan. So um, this is absolutely 100% Ken's baby. There was never any question of paternity. How do you think your ex is gonna react to this, especially given that you're going through a divorce proceeding still? I'm hoping that he is okay um, emotionally and I wish him the best emotionally. Um, but right now I have not even had a moment to stop and think about anybody else except for, am I taking my pre needles in the morning? Am I drinking enough water? Like I have so much to focus on making sure that um, I'm healthy for this baby. So. You've clicked into maternal mode. I have absolutely nesting and everything. But instead of egging on and co-signing bullying towards somebody who is giving commentary about you, whether or not you like Nina, she's giving commentary and I don't watch all of her content, but 
you're a public figure, she's giving commentary, it is what it is. Instead of co-signing that bullying to make you look like a bored, hypocritical idiot, why don't you worry about taking your prenatals and restocking your fridge with OJ and going on live with Ken and getting attention from those people who are still, for whatever reason, in your corner. Take your vitamins, stay out of the drama, because so far I've seen somebody who is raising a whole lot of questions, losing supporters, and not giving I'm about to be a mother vibe. But either way, I'm trying to kind of work my way out of the weeds with all of this Gypsy Rose stuff. There's just so much happening. It's kind of hard to keep an eye on everything, but I figured let's just put a bunch of updates in one video and I'm going to move on to an update with World of T-Shirts, Joshua Block, and I also have a video coming on ethics in true crime, specifically true crime on social media. I thought that would be an interesting kind of random conversation to have. So keep an eye out for those, but I'm doing my best trying to keep up and just live my life. So. Oh man, that was crazy as hell. Y'all, did you enjoy the live stream? Hit the thumbs up button, YouTube. We still don't have 200 likes. Y'all hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. If you're new here, show the video some love y'all. Go back and rewatch it if you just caught the end of it. I love you guys. Make sure you go subscribe and follow all the creators that we watch. Love you guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow.